this is Max and this is Cooking with Max in Southbridge and we're doing a special YouTube version of a pizza and we're going to do it real quick here. We've got our pizza skin already started to be patted out and we used our rolling pin to do that and you can see we're going to pat a little first so it'll fit nicely on our pizza stone. And we're doing our show here today from the Town Armory in Southbridge, Massachusetts which now serves as the community center. And they got this nice snappy kitchen for any citizen of the town stoppers to use to make their pizza or to make their YouTube show. So here we go. The first step is to make our skin fit on our stone, like so. See how when I drop it on there, it shrinks a little bit to go back down to size. So one of the keys of making a homemade pizza is to make it a little bit bigger than the stone and drop it like this so that it fits around the edge. Alrighty, there we go. Now we take some nice store-bought sauce and we dump some right there in the middle of our homemade cooking with Max and Southbridge pizza and we use our wooden spoon and the key here is to push this sauce about to within a half an inch of the edge of your pizza and you don't want it to go all the way because it just looks funny just for aesthetics only you want a nice half inch even all the way around plus it it gives all your your guests a thing to grip while they're eating their pie later on. And you'll have guests if you make pizza because when you make pizza, you make friends. So here we go with our pizza. And that's close enough because you're covering the whole thing with cheese. Put that in. Here's our cheese. This is a delightful blend of cheddar and mozzarella, equal parts that I went like this with after I opened the bags and put them in here. Picked up the cheese down at the bunny picked up the pizza skins which are pre-made and you buy them at the grocery store at Shaw's uh, and they work out very well as, as well. The key to a pizza skin by the way is that you let it sit out for about four hours so that it starts to proof. Anyway here's our cheese. On as evenly as you possibly can without spilling too much on the floor. Nice and even Steven all the way around. Don't go too crazy with it or it just won't cook right about so much. You've covered all the red spots. You do this here so that you don't burn on top of the edge and create an unesthetically pleasing look for your very particular guests. All right, there she be. That's looking good. Now, we want more than just cheese on our pie, so I got some pepperoni here. I've already separated out to make it easy to put on there. And you put these on, and you go to the edge, and then you work your way toward the middle. I bought the pepperoni in the store just like most people do. I can't be bothered with buying a whole pepperoni and slicing it. It's just too much work. So I just bought this down at the store the way it is. You can put that on there. Now pepperoni and cheese, that's a nice pie. But I say we jazz it up a little bit more and we take some of these fresh scallions that I purchased and we'll put these on there as well. And to do these you cut off these little in-tips here that have the hair on them, which are really just the ruts. Take those out of the picture. Very nice, very thin. These are delicious, of course. These are very taste explosive within the confines of your mouth when you bite them down. And they go right on your pie. You don't want to cut too much of this end off. There we go. Take them. Spread them so that they are part of this overall beautiful pizza that you're making for your friends in Southbridge, Mass, or wherever you you may be. And there you have it. There was nothing to it. The hardest part is the pizza dough. When you work that, the more you work it, the easier it is. And there's your pizza. Now, you put this thing in a 500 degree oven. Don't be afraid of the heat. For about 10 minutes. You'll know because the bottom will be brown. So I'm going to take this thing now. I'm going to go back to my oven over here. And of course, I already put a pizza in the oven earlier so that you can see what it looks like when it comes out. But this guy will go right here on top. I'm going to put on my pizza mitts because we do have a 500 degree oven. And I'm going to open up the one I made just earlier. Ah, it's beautiful. Look at the sauce bubbling on top. Let's look underneath the crust. Oh, bon appetit. That thing's ready. Okay, I'm going to pull this out. And you can see how beautiful it is. Nice melted cheese, nice hot tasty treat. You and your friends can enjoy. It's a little hot coming out of the oven. You nice Trevor, so mom doesn't scream at you. And voila, there you have a homemade pizza. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again.